I was selling newspapers on the waterfront on Harbor Boulevard and Beacon Street and Front Street along with some other boys, uh, four or five other boys. Uh, and then one day the boys told me that they had gone to the house of our boss, the guy that, uh, that uh, you know, gave us newspapers to sell. He took them to his house to swim in a pool. And I said, I, I didn't know anything about that. I never went. And they said, well, uh, and these boys are white. And they told me that, well, he told us not to tell you because you're colored and colored people can't come into his, into his neighborhood in Torrance. Um, and so that was, that was, per, that was a personal vendetta with me in, in terms of discrimination, but also, uh, San Pedro over the years in the 1940s and 1950s, I had redlining for housing. Uh, the rule was no blacks south of 6th street, no blacks west of Gaffey, although there were a few scattered, a few west of Gaffey. Uh, and that was based upon the redlining by then Realtors, I'm certain all of them have passed away now, so I can uh, just say that. Um, uh, as a matter of fact, the house that, my first house that I purchased in San Pedro, uh, the, the realtor, uh, I was single, I'm about ready to get married. The realtor took me there, met me there at midnight, told me to come at midnight and uh, to, and this is, this is interesting, to park my car a couple of houses up and then coast down the hill to the house and stop in front of the house, don't slam the door, get out and walk up and knock on the door. And I did that and the house, all the lights in the house were out and the owner was there, the, the seller of the house was there and the realtor was there and they took me in with a little flashlight and showed me the interior of the house, took me out and showed me the backyard and said, uh, you know, this is a white neighborhood and they don't want you here. but..." these people want to sell the house to you. Um, I purchased the house, and it was interesting because when I moved into the house, the day I was moving in, several neighbors came over and welcomed me to the neighborhood, white neighbors, white neighborhood. Um, I think I was a third African-American in that neighborhood. The first was uh, Dr. Kennedy, who was an educator, college professor, and the second was Dr. Lionel Coulter, who was also a professor, but he was also a probation officer. And then I was a, the third person in that area down there, uh, Rolling Hills Highlands, just behind the driving theater. Uh, so, you know, I experienced some discrimination here in San Pedro, but didn't linger on it. And most of that's gone now. Uh, San Pedro is a great place to live. It's a super place to live. Uh, many people who have left San Pedro want to come back. Uh, but I had a great childhood here in San Pedro, and we did a lot of things in the community that they don't longer do. Uh, we every every year the uh, we had the fair at uh, 13th and Gaffey, uh, where the Safeway Market is now. Back then, it was part of the Boys Club football field, and I played football at the Boys Club. Um, we had, of course, the Fisherman's Fiesta is always talked about, but also we had the. Uh, had the Kiwanis uh, Easter egg hunt at Pick Park, and where they would have hundreds of kids there the day before Easter, looking for Easter eggs in the park, young kids. And the grand prize was they had a, two golden eggs. If you found the golden egg, you got a free bicycle from King's Bicycle Shop. Um, and then, of course, the big attraction was the Clyde Beatty Circus came to town every year on the, on the train, a circus train along Front Street. And uh, they had the tents there, and of course, we, I grew up there in Rancho, just two or three blocks from where the circus was, and we'd go over there and try to sneak in, didn't have any money to get in there, pay to get in. Uh, but, you know, all the animals and the acts and so on and so forth, all those things are ingrained in my memory about growing up in San Pedro. And uh, uh, lots of fun things for, uh, for kids to do. Mm -hmm.